I just came from down City Hall, y'all. I'm telling you, the devil work in the day, boy. While some lady was on the train, <clears throat> she gets off, and then she starts screaming, it's a baby under the tracks, man. When I tell y'all, my anxiety flew over the goddamn roof. <sighs> Had the paramedics, the firefighters, the cops, everything come out there. And it was a it was a hoax. They was trying 302 the lady. I'm like, man, I don't know if she needs to be 302 or that's a traumatic experience. Cause if she was on drugs, maybe she had some sort of flashback of something that happened when she was getting high or something happened to her child under under her care when she was high. I don't know, man. But I said, damn, the devil working a day, boy. I hope y'all day going cool. That's why I don't like Halloween. Halloween is like. Mm -mm. and my kids want me to take them out today i'm like man i don't celebrate this day not to say it like that like the people who do it's supposed to be just a regular day but that's when the devil works y'all know that what's going on here with the collective all right so what's something that you guys are needing to be patient about all right except that everything happens in divine timing all right All right, and we have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. All right, something could have transpired here. All right, maybe some of you guys only see things one way in a certain situation here. All right. Or you're needing to be open about a certain situation. I'm also hearing you guys are waiting for somebody to tell you something that you already know. So... Maybe you're wondering when this person is going to open up and tell the truth about something here. We have adversity. For some of you guys, it's a challenge here for this person to come towards you and tell you the truth. This person looks at you as one-sided. So somebody feel like if they do come to you with the truth, it's a lose-lose situation. Because this person here could possibly feel guilty about something that they're holding from you. But at the end of the day, this person feels as though like you, you're not going to be able to understand them. You're going to think that they're guilty. Any, any way they try to bring this to you, they're going to know. They feel like... You're one-sided and you're not going to be able to, um, you're not going to be open to whatever this is here. This is causing somebody stress for whoever this is resonating for. I feel like somebody's trying to get the coverage. I don't know what this is here. All right. Somebody feel like you too one-sided, like you don't bend or break. So it's like, they just feel like, what's the purpose or something like that? I don't know. So somebody's like withholding some information from you because they just feel like, what's the purpose here? All right, messages here for the collective. This person is feeling guilty though. It's a challenge, but they feel like it's more of a challenge than to come to you. So some of you guys could be badgering this person for some sort of truth, but this person's not breaking. All right. It could be in regards to money here. All right. Could be in regards to what somebody does for money. For some of you guys, what somebody does for money is causing a, um, a shift in you guys' relationship here. Some of you guys feel like what this person does for money here is not like cohesive with where you're going. But this person feels like it balanced them out in their situation here. Yeah, yang yang. If this person feels like what they do here balances them, although it may be challenging for this person, they feel like it's their way to eat. For somebody out there, all right, yeah, man holding a coin. This is about what somebody does for money here, or this is about what this person supports, who they get money to. It's something in those in those in the, in that manner. All right. For some of you guys, you guys are um, to be waiting here um, for a contract or something to come in. Some of you guys um, need to be patient here. Yeah, we got strategy. I feel like here somebody wants to come and give you what you want. This could even be in business or love, but somebody's needing you to be patient. All right. Because somebody feels like 
a situation can flourish, but maybe somebody feel like you too um, antsy or something like that. Yeah, and you could be becoming angry with this person or you feel like you holding a grudge, maybe because you're not getting something when you feel like you should. This is how this person feels. So this person here is trying to teach you about patience. I heard learning to have patience because you are timeless. All right. Yeah, you're timeless here. Yeah, angel balance. Somebody needs you more tempered for something here. And I feel like this person here is sending you healing energy at this time. This person is sending you love from afar. 33, 46, 29, 48, 26, 43, 22, or 31 could be significant. Any of those numbers could resonate with you guys. But somebody here, like, somebody's trying to teach you balance and patience. And I feel like this is angering you because you don't know the intentions behind this person. So this is causing you to act the way that you're acting here for whoever this is resonating for. All right. Yeah. Garden gate. Some of you guys are real like closed off here. Maybe this person needs you to drop your, your defenses here. You could be real closed off here. This could be due to fear. This could be due to something that happened in your past, but Somebody's needing you to um like loosen up a little bit. All right, yeah. So at this time here, from you guys waiting or something like that, you guys are questioning should you walk away and abandon this situation because it's like you feel like here this person should already know or or this person feels like you should already know what it is and if you don't, then maybe you should go ahead and walk away or something like that. All right. I also feel like here, this could be a situation when you do walk away here, this person comes back towards you here. So it's like somebody's at a crossroads. It's like you walk away, this person comes back. This person walks away, you chase them. So it's just like a runner chase type thing here. Man holding a heart. And then we got journey. This is in reverse. I feel like here, this has just been a back and forth game. And some of you guys could be tired of this here. All right. For some of you guys, with this person doing this, this causes you jealousy or something like that. And, and you just, you close off towards this situation here. Maybe somebody gets off at you feeling jealous or something. 717 on the phone. Somebody could like when you're jealous or something like that. So I feel like this person is very childish here and messy. Yeah, we got to communicate clearly. For some of you guys, if this is your story, you need to tell this person how this makes you feel. All right. Somebody here, like, I don't know, maybe they didn't get the attention they seek when they were younger. Or this person needs attention to validate, like, how they feel. They need your attention to validate how they feel. If they're not getting your attention or something like that, or they don't have your attention, they feel like, shit, well, I'm going to get it elsewhere, or I'm going to get their attention by any means necessary. I'm going to make them jealous. Horrible. Right? Somebody's very young-minded, immature. Spirit says remain positive here. All right. Yeah, we have success in reverse and then we have compromise. So for some of you guys, this tactic has not been working. All right. This tactic has not been working for this person. Whatever they're doing here, it's not working. So it's like, I don't I don't know what they're getting from this. It's not working here spirit says expect the powerful change bring love into a situation i feel like here what triggers this person the most is that you still show them love they're trying to make you angry but you're still in this loving manner for whoever this is resonating for so somebody's just like feeling foolish <laughs> Yeah, we have look at the bigger picture. I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You guys are analyzing this person's behavior. You're like, what the hell is going on with this person? <laughs> so somebody took it like to a psychiatrist, like a, a, a like a psychiatrist. You guys are looking at this person on a psychological standpoint. Like, wow, this person's that immature and egotistical. Like they can't come towards me and express themselves, but they could make themselves look like a fool in public to try to get my attention or to make me jealous. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, what do you need to release? Somebody needs to release this mindset. This is not how adults carry themselves. Yeah, we got communication is the key. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Gemini or a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini here, heavy, Taurus, Pisces. 
some of you guys are like, these actions aren't going to work here. I'm going to need you to communicate how you feel. We had be bold to make the first move and we have meditate and contemplate. So I feel like at this time here, this person wants to come towards you and show you, you are good enough here. I feel like this person was lacking confidence. So it was more so like a projection of energies with this person.